Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and I work here in the math lab. It is my job to provide tutoring to students and to provide them the help that they need to be a success in their math class. One way we do that is to provide these videos so that they can get some assistance in their math courses. Now these videos are not designed to replace their classroom lecture. The most important key to success in your math class is your classroom attendance and participation in class. And these videos are not designed to replace that classroom lecture and that classroom attendance. But they are designed to provide some additional perspective and some additional help. And I hope they do provide both. If you need additional help, remember it can always be found by coming by and seeing us in person in the Math and Behavioral Social Science building in room 222 and tutoring is available. I hope to see you there. Again, my name is Beth Dixon and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, let's look at this problem on circumference. Here I have a picture. It is the world's largest wheel of cheese, and it is made by B. Mister, I assume that's how you pronounce it, which is a Dutch manufacturer of gourmet cheeses. The cheese is made of Gouda cheese and weighs approximately 1,323 pounds, and it is six feet wide. You can't tell in this picture, but I have seen other pictures. It has a banner around the outside, a ribbon or a banner, whatever you want to call it, that's on the outside, a label, I guess you could say, all the way around it. And so I want to figure out its circumference of this wheel of cheese. That would be something that you would need to know if you were going to make a replacement banner or the original banner for that matter. You would need to know the circumference of this cheese. So let's figure out the circumference of this cheese. Okay, so I've got a picture here of a circle. Let me move it up a little bit so you can see the circle. Okay, I'm moving it up quite a bit. And there's the circle. And we know from my problem that the circle of cheese is six feet wide. Now, that makes this a diameter. A diameter goes from one end all the way across to the other side of a circle at the widest point of any anywhere on the cheese, no matter, in this case, the cheese, no matter which way I turn, or a circle, no matter which way I turn it. So this is a diameter. I use the formula for circumference to be circumference equals 2 pi r. To find the circumference of this cheese, I need the radius. The radius goes from the center out to the edge, which would be half the diameter which in our case gives us a radius of 3. Since my radius is 3, that means I'm going to have circumference equals 2 times pi times 3. I'm just plugging in for the radius the number 3. Then I have 2 times 3, which is 6, and then the pi. Now, at this point, if I was looking for an exact answer, I would leave it like this. Because remember, pi is one of those irrational numbers, meaning it continues on and doesn't stop. It's a non-repeating, non-ending decimal. So it keeps going and going and going. But we can use a decimal approximation for pi of 3.14 and a calculator
So I'm going to pull up my calculator here and type in 6 times 3.14 I could have also figured that out by hand by putting the 3.14 on top, the 6 on the bottom, 4 6's are 24, carry my 2, 6 1's are 6, plus 2 is 8, 3 6's are 18, and I need two decimal places. Depending on your teacher is the way that you will do that. And since we're dealing in feet, this is still feet, so the circumference is approximately 18.84 feet.